as if you are as excited as I am about this new hotel opening, you've been reading all about it. You know the hotel. It's opening in Vegas. It starts with a C. It's got a classic, classy, old-school Vegas vibe to it. It's adults only, and it's called the... The Cromwell. It's the Ace of Vegas. The Ace of Vegas. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. And, yeah, apparently your eyes don't deceive you. I just fact-checked that the Cromwell is not only reopening, but they've also decided to take an adults-only stance. Now, that's weird to me for a couple of reasons here. I, I think it's kind of funny that this hotel just so happens to be reopening the same week as another hotel... That also starts with a C, that's also in Vegas, that also happens to be a little smaller and boutique style, and also happens to have a classic, classy Vegas feel, also, and if I didn't reiterate it enough, that's also taking an adult stance that's happening the same week. Yeah, you guys know the real one I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Circa. But I thought it was interesting that Cromwell popped up at the same time with the same stance. So let's go ahead and spill a little tea on this. Shout out to my boy PJ from PJ Slots and Cocktails. I'll go ahead and leave, go, leave a link to him in the description box below. Also, mad shout out to my boy JR for facilitating the whole reason that uh, PJ got me the mug here. So thanks again to both you fine fellas. Don't forget to subscribe to them on YouTube and support them in that uh, comment section down below. Okay, so a little background before we get into the little compare and contrast over here and the interesting part of the video. I'm going to see if I can make it quick because it is freezing out here in Colorado. 28 degrees, I cannot get back to Vegas fast enough. Next week, we're going to actually be down at both of these openings here. So one's going to be the 27th, one's going to be the 28th, where they reopen at midnight. So it'll be very interesting to see. So stand by for those live streams, but let's go ahead and get a little background on both of them. Now, the Circa is a brand new 777 room hotel that's opening in downtown Las Vegas. It's being built by the fine gentleman Derek Stevens, who's brought us the Golden Gate and the D Las Vegas downtown. You guys also might be familiar with a certain executive director that just so happens to work at the D that we may or may not know over here on this channel. And yes, he is definitely going to be at the Circa Grand opening. Check out Not Leaving Las Vegas because I have a feeling he's going to pop up in that, uh, in that stream over there. So shout out to Richard Wilk. Now, a lot of big features for the Circa are, of course, it's going to be the location, it's over the old Vegas club there, so you're also going to be looking at the really cool new feature, the huge sports book, the Stadium Swim, which is something that we're planning on streaming, a little preview of what's going on with me and Vegas Best Ideas, we're planning a little stream there, Kino Kids trying to get in on that action too, so definitely uh, hit those notification bells, guys, if you guys want to see what it's like live in a brand new pool area it's going to be great and yeah the casino is going to be really nice and it's going to have that classy classic old school vegas feel we're going to go ahead and get all uh, we'll get decked out for it you know it you know that's how we do and we are very much looking forward to the midnight opening on tech i guess that would technically be midnight the 28th so the uh, 28th of october before the hotel proper opens and one of the biggest draws to circa is the fact that it's going to be the very first adults only hotel in las vegas history yes there are no other adults only hotels in las vegas how crazy is that? So the interesting thing about that is apparently Thomas Reig heard about that record there and decided that he wanted to set one too. So he got all of his buddies together at El Dorado and Caesars and because the Cromwell had been sitting closed and quiet for ever since the whole hotel shut down back in March, Cromwell was one of the last properties to reopen, and now that it's reopening, it's decided to take an all-adult stance. Now, adult-themed hotels doesn't necessarily mean that there's going to be, like, blackjack and strippers at every single individual table or anything like that, so it's not going to be free-flowing weed and whiskey or anything like that. Probably free-flowing whiskey, but not, <laughs> not, not marijuana or anything along those lines. That's not what an adult hotel means. Adults only just means that the only guests there will be 21 and up. 
which frankly, I think I'm fine with. There are lots of great places for kids on the strip. Excalibur, even though it's not a great place. Circus Circus, even though it's not a great place. New York, New York, there you go. <laughs> That's fine for kids. Let the kids have New York, New York. That's great. So now Cromwell will be the only adults only hotel on the Las Vegas Strip. So that's two firsts in one week. And I couldn't be more hyped about it, although I do wonder why the Cromwell decided to go this direction. I have a couple theories. Theory number one, there isn't much for kids at the Cromwell anyway. I guess there's the pool. It's also a bit of a smaller hotel, so it's not ideal to have kids there, especially a lot of them. Uh, larger families probably wouldn't enjoy it anyway, so there's that. So, number one, there isn't much for kids there anyway. Number two, it fits the same profile as Circa, so just to kind of capture those potential Circa customers. If you think about it, Circa is going to be 777 rooms. That's pretty big for downtown. On the Strip, that's not quite as substantial. I mean, you have these giant mega resorts. You guys have been on my walkthroughs of MGM Grand. You've been on my walkthrough of Luxor. You've been on my walkthrough of Excalibur. Those are big hotels. Those are big three, four thousand room hotels. Six thousand in the case of MGM Grand. That's a really big hotel. And the Circa doesn't fit that profile, but you know what? The Cromwell doesn't exactly fit the large hotel profile either. In fact, Cromwell is radically smaller than all of them, and it only has 188 rooms, so less than 200 rooms on the Strip. Not a lot of rooms out there, and they usually go for a premium, even the base level ones. So that kind of fits the same clientele there. So that's another thing. So those are my main theories as to why they do something along those lines. Now, when I say adults only, I know there's going to be an asterisk in the record book, and Vital Vegas has already pointed this out. It's not going to be adults only. Now, what they do mean by adults only is, yes, it's only going to have adult guests in the hotel. It's only going to have adult guests and players in the casino, only adult guests in the pool, only adult guests in the lounge and all that. The only exceptions are the steakhouses for both properties. Those are indeed open to all ages. So children are allowed to be on the property if they're being escorted to those steakhouses by someone of age. Otherwise, 21 and up. And, yeah, again, the asterisk is going to be there, but as far as I'm concerned, that still counts as adults only. Just saying. I guess the follow-up question to this that I have for all of you guys is, what do you think? Do you think that hotels should start catering to adults-only crowds? I feel like this is going to be kind of a common thing that comes up when they see the success of Circa and then the returning success of Cromwell. I, I have a really good feeling that Circa is going to go big. I've seen the commercials. I even did a little parody of the commercial that I'm actually going to release right now. Here's what it looks like. We love Las Vegas. It's always reinventing itself. But this is bigger than reinvention. This is unlike anything ever seen before. We wanted to create a place that didn't just keep up with the times. We wanted something that redefined them. But based on the real commercial and based on the expectations that have been set, I feel like Circa is going to be a really big thing. Huge sports book, good casino, great pool. I'm really looking forward to that and it's really going to revitalize the downtown area. And I think Cromwell is definitely going to capture a correct clientele, especially since I don't think that was especially big for children anyway. So I guess that also does beg the question, what other hotel properties might take this stance? Maybe we'll talk about it in a future podcast. But in the meantime, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. Okay, Spenders and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's content and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. Next time we meet, we'll be back in Vegas, downtown at the Circa. Grand opening that is going to be Tuesday, October 28th, 2020 at midnight. So stay up late and keep those notifications on. Until next time, Spenders and Sharks, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and, of course... Happy spending, you guys. Viva,
Viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva, viva,